Um, yeah, so here we are with another episode of Talks with KG. And on this episode, we have one of Trinidad's, on, in my opinion, finest producers, sound engineer. You know, and I'm um, just a staple in the Trinidad industry. My bad bro, Chady Beats. What well, going dog? What well, going, brother? I did. So the thing set? No, man, I just <laughs> fight any fight. Doing my thing still, mm -hmm. but well, you know, on the low at the same time. Yeah, well, Chili Beats has always been a low key mm -hmm. guy in the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, people might know the name, mm -hmm. they might hear the Chili Beats tag. They might even know the face. You know, they don't know the face. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. don't know the face of yeah. Chili now. For you sure. Know, and, um, that one of the main reason I say, why I jumping back out to the podcast, mm -hmm. I had to link Chili. I was trying to think about somebody that. I think deserve, I, I want to say recognition mm -hmm. because you already stamped yeah. the name in the industry, but who I want to put a spotlight on for mm -hmm. the people to be like, oh, that he. What do you mean? You understand? Yeah. So I say, Chid is the first person I had to come and link, and we link about two, three days ago, and we make it happen quick. Yeah, you know? yeah for sure. So, um, for the people who don't know you, let them know where you're healing from now, like where Chid start. It's yeah. From. Well, um, well, as my close, what to say, but my pe like people who know me, mm. right, from a long time, they know me as a DJ, mm. right? I DJ since I was 14 years old. Right. My mother ended up seeing that and like, and she, well, her brother was DJ too. Mm -hmm. So she see that and she liked that and she ended up buying DJ equipment for me. Right. My uncle, which is her brother, she he was a DJ, he ended up selling like, well, speaker box and thing for me mm -hmm. and thing, end up buying them. She end up buying the DJ console for me. Yeah. She buy it, and somebody break in the house and thief it. <laughs> she spent five thousand for it. Yeah. And she was, I think she does. It was like a stand and all that. No, like a, what is it called? Higher purchase. Higher purchase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Higher purchase. So she, I don't even know. She just, I think she, she make a report, and she sent it back to standard and like this, and like she stopped paying for it. So but anyway. Yeah. So that didn't stop me. I, um, I ended up, well, at the same time, I was in school whilst I was DJing. And I was working too, because my long time I had evening chef and morning chef in school. Yeah, right. Junior sec. What school they went? They go Martin Junior sec. Right. And then they go Martin secondary. Right. Yeah, but they go Martin Junior sec, I was working in a grocery. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I was in the morning chef, from morning chef, straight in the grocery. Saving up my money, mm -hmm. burning CDs, selling it in school. Right. You understand? <laughs> I come and get stabbed up in school. Where well, you're burning CDs, that's when you're burning, burning. Like you're burning artists, music, and Burning, yeah, like, yeah. You know, like Jamaican dance or anything. Yeah, yeah. Right. and soca, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was like a cat man, but in school with no cat. Serious. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And I come and get stabbed up for that. A man wanted that CD burning. <laughs> And he finally gave them ranking talk by talking to them normal, but yeah, you know the youths, yeah, yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he feel better than me, but I, I normal, I was mm. none, he, he come and think. I sent a squad for me, he beat me up. Take, I swing back from in school for myself, mm -hmm. you understand? Beat him up, and that same day he come back and stab him up. Yeah, but yeah. real madness, but my, my mother make news, all kind of thing. But that again didn't stop me. Yeah, you understand? I was continuing going to my cities and selling it. So you get stabbed up? Yeah. How much time you get stabbed? I get one in my hand here, yeah. two in my head, a gash, yeah. and I stab in my head. Channel. I get one in my, across my chest and one by my belly here. Wee. Yeah, I was in hospital for about four days. Wee. Yeah, four days, but I. I I a strong fella too. So how that how that but how that affect you though? How old it was? I was fifteen. And how that I affect you mentally at fifteen years old? You know you get stabbed up and you lose your life. That boy, I a man like nothing no bother me by kids. Yeah, you just boy. take it and yeah, I, like nothing. Back and yeah, it off. yeah. The mother wanted to pay my father ten thousand dollars and all kind of thing. I was like, yeah. my father, he and all. I like I get up from me. God rest his soul. He dead yeah. now. Like he don't take on nothing neither. We was like, uh, we cut the court case, keep trying. We didn't take the court case. Mm -hmm. the, the, it, it was a state case, so your heart was to go through the state now, boys. So right. The case keep pulling off, pulling off, pulling off. Even getting to the bottom of the matter, the case just, just keep getting pulled off, and we just stop go there. I stop go there, and the case get, just get thrown off. The police come in front of my house, ask me what's going on with the case. I say, boy, throw off that case, and then yeah. we just throw off the case. 
נתנה אפנה אפתה לאדם, מי אי דימן, מי אני מאנה סטוקס טל. אי... ואין זה באיזו מי זה עומדים? אי דו. אי דו. Which them bad, I do, who no grudge. Let the universe deal with that. Yeah, let the know. universe deal with that now, boy. That yeah, doesn't happen now, you see, ever. I, I done heal up already, everything now, boy. You yeah. understand? He... Oh, yeah, I guess stop here too, boy. This year? <laughs> I know if you see the upside, you don't just yeah, yeah. mark the dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, this the doctor have finished with really. I was to come and plastic surgery, dog. Yeah, no. Pressure, dog. But that didn't affect me. I, I went to school, the same school. Yeah. They expelled me and I went... I come back to the same school and I was normal after. So in them days you're still DJ. And yeah, I still DJ normal. That's what you're doing. And still DJ and I end up winning mm-hmm. a competition. Well, during the... During the... Um, ah, well, I finished school thing. I end up doing a DJ course. No, I end up winning a DJ competition because Boom Champions had a competition called New Kid on the Boom. I remember that. Yeah, New Kid on the Boom. Mm-hmm. And... I Did you win that? Yeah, I win that. Win that, chill. You see, I win that. That was the first but ever no, DJ but competition. But as you say that, I remember it's really you win yeah, that. Because yeah. I remember seeing the person mm-hmm. who didn't win that. Mm-hmm. And it was really you. Mm-hmm. Right. Right? And that was like about three years after I finished school or four years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And same time, I win that. I had my daughter. She now born. No, but chill. You had to be real bad to yeah. win that. Yeah. Boy, I was... I, Dog, you see how men are going. Real men wanted to going win that. And, yeah, men went, men going scratching and then yeah, kind of thing and thing. I was just, I had nice selections and I was mm-hmm. coming in smooth. Just mixing smooth. But what I was though, when you win that, you was like, well, a um, DJ on the boom? I was, yeah, well, here we go, I don't know. I ended up, um, well, the finals was in Fusion. Mm-hmm. Remember, Boom Champions used to cruise Fusion Thursdays. Mm-hmm. And the finals was in Fusion. I ended up, so I ended up winning that with Cupid. Cupid playing on 96.1 now. He used mm-hmm. to play on Boomer, he playing on 96.1 now. But the crazy story is with him now. He, Mike Man, ended up bailing. No, he DJ ended up bailing. Yeah, you understand? And, he, and um, what going on, boy? He DJ ended up bailing. He had no DJ. And yeah. I entered the competition yeah. as a DJ alone. Because yeah. you, you, you can enter the competition with two things. A mm-hmm. DJ, Mike Man, or a DJ. He think, he, he might, um, he DJ gone. So, dog, I never had experience with the dog. Mm-hmm. You understand? And, we end up playing first, and I don't, he don't know why I go and play. He don't know nothing, dog. I don't know how he does mic nothing, yeah, dog. And we do we thing on the stage, dog. We play first, eh? We learn nervous everything. We play first, dog, and end up coming and win, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. son? Organic. Oh, yeah, dog. Yeah, son, just yeah. vibes, dog. And the judges realized, but he never mic with it before. So they watch that now, boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah son? Because all day when you're going on DJ, a mic man will just pick up the mic just so. Mm-hmm. Uh, you understand? You don't know that mic man. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And all of them playing and all of them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think of the crowd. That is a plus for them watch that, boy. You yeah. understand? So. so, I mean, so, right. So, you're Wendy, new kid on the boom. Mm-hmm. So, you kind of stamp your name, you know, yeah. to the masters as In a, a DJ. Kind of, yeah. Like everybody, all your fans and your friends, yeah. all your family, your friends, or yeah. whoever, they know Chady to mm-hmm. be a DJ. Mm-hmm. So... What was the the space now between you being a DJ and saying, boy, I feel I could build some rhythm and Well, here it is. I was DJing for a good while now. So yeah. when I win that competition, yeah. I didn't even dream to be building with them. <laughs> yeah. um, I win that back in when, boy, 2010, I win that, boy, 2011, I win that. Mm-hmm. 2011, I win that. And um, well, I ended up doing a course. In star broadcasting, because when the com- when you win the competition, you end up doing that. There's years when like hampers and prizes and mm-hmm. whatever and whatever. So I end up getting that. I do the course for like six months, and I always used to listen to beats, dog, like instrumentals. Dog, I always like instrumentals. Like yeah, I rather listen to the instrumental than the than actual the than yeah than yeah, the actual no, song. No here. Yeah, so. That and that it took me a real long period of time to realize like I like you instrumentals. Like mm-hmm. You understand? Like if the mic man talking and he say pun instrumental, that's my favorite part. Mm-hmm. You understand? I mean makes sense normal everything, but yeah. um so I went there in 2011. 2017 is when I s- kinda started Bill Beats, but here what I went on. Yeah. I was living next to the studio, which part you said of the on school street. Yeah. And it always had a studio. It always had a studio there. And, and I know the fella. Well, I, I grew up on School Street. That was Rion and them? That, that was, was a fella called Cassie House. Yeah. Rion and them used to stay. Well, the, well, the house was real big. It had real mm-hmm. rooms. Men used to come and rent and thing. Mm-hmm. 
and sleep there just to rest their head because they're doing music, you understand? Right. And um, I was living next door. And the landlord was getting me trouble and thing, and I wanted to move out, whatever, whatever. Mm. I then started building it. So I ended up moving in the studio, but I wanted a place to rest my head because I, I, I yeah, work in Long yeah. Shagama, so I want a place to rest my head. Yeah. You understand? Get up, work, think, yeah. sleep, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So I always in the studio downstairs with Rion and them, and Rion just tell me, boy, Shady boy, you know, just bell beats, boy, you just here watching me record, mm -hmm. you understand, thing, thing. But Rion had a producer in the studio. Right. He, well, he, he was a beat maker. And I just used to be in the studio just watching he bell beats. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, I didn't know nothing about his music thing, dog. Nothing, nothing, right. nothing, dog. And I just watching he bell beats, dog. And one day I take Rion laptop and airdrop logic to my laptop. Right. Right. And I, I, I just went upstairs, which was, well, I was actually landlord, which is Cassie mm -hmm. to rent, to stay there for a while. But that while I'm not telling to about four years. But anyway, mm -hmm. early on in the four years now, I ended up going upstairs in my room there dog, and just watching tutorials. Because when you have logic now, it will be like intimidating to you now, but like, right, yeah. the ass is this? On the yeah, we, we have to get tones from wherever, yeah, wherever, yeah. wherever. And, um... I just ended up watching tutorials one by one, learning, thinking, thing. I didn't know no music theory, nothing. Mm -hmm. My first beat was a rap beat and muffler, you know muffler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Muffler boy, if I'm signed next now. Yeah, yeah. Muffler say, boy, Chidi boy, that real bad boy, yeah. who's that boy? Thing. Because mm -hmm. you know, long time, men. But how long you take to learn to build that, that, that first beat though? But that beat take me about two weeks. So when you first get the logic, it yeah. takes two weeks for you to just build like how to build. Yeah, like, yeah. But somebody show you, or you just went up and say, bye, go and try this. No, well, you remember, I tell you, I watch tutorials, right? Right, right, so he's so, watching the tutorials. Yeah, yeah. and then Kevin and them in the studio, we, well, we don't know nothing yeah. about beats as yet, but oh. Kevin and them was in the studio, they were telling me, hey, mm. put that there and tell yeah. us how to do it and yeah. go, go on YouTube and jump and watch it and just watch it. Yeah, and <laughs> done with some drum packs because logic has some shit, shit drum packs, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. And so Done with some jump packs and I started a little bit. Muffler was the first one to jump on my beat. I didn't yeah. know how to record. He said, but I will record, but I was like, I don't know how to use this thing. But he showed me, like, he, he know a little thing now. So he showed me, rather, record him, you know what I'm saying? It was no la, you know, well, it was a rap beat and, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it was no yeah, la. Yeah. So I just, you know, I was doing my thing. Then Kyla realized, well, you know Kyla. Mm -hmm. Kyla realized I started a little bit. I started to build beats for Kyla. So yeah, so yeah. So Kyla, you, you know, you see Kyla? Mm -hmm. Kyla was my guinea pig and right. I was he guinea pig. Right. You understand? We were just experimenting on each other, dog. Right. See us thing, dog. I right. just used to I just used to record Kyla just to see how recording us go. How, yeah. how you're supposed to record, man. Mm -hmm. And he just used to tell me, hey, build this beat, build that beat, build that beat. Mm -hmm. I just used to build beats for Kyla, dog. I think Kyla was the first person that gave me a music video for one of my instrumentals. Right, and what song was that? I think it was, it was three people on my It was Rion, Kyla and Zebi. Mm -hmm. That was, um, God, some girl tune. Right. Tempt Me. Get a body here, Tempt Me. Yeah, right. yeah, mm -hmm. that, yeah that, I think that should down somewhere on the islands or something. Yeah, but it's Kyla who really linked that because it was Kyla's song original, you know, boy. Mm -hmm. Zebi hate it and he like it, Rion hate it and he like it and they just do a feature on it. Man. Right. Yeah, and that was, uh, after that dog, I started with Kyla real hard, you understand? And I used to build beats, but still I didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. You understand? I just used to... And then, when I make a beat, I do my first dance hall. I do my first... Yeah, you just do your own I, thing. I just do my own thing now, yeah. boy. And then after, I sent Swanee a beat, you understand? But Swanee had a beat in the email like about two or three months now, boy. Mm -hmm. But I think he didn't, he wasn't getting time to record on the rhythm, and he, and he didn't know who... But how, how... You say you send Swanee a beat, mm -hmm. but how, how does Swanee and Chady link even? Well, here, um, um, I used to work with Plumpy Boss first. Mm. How did that all start? Um, Plumpy Boss manager wanted a, a recording engineer. Right. He didn't want no beat something. He, he wanted a recording engineer. Mm. But how I really started off in the studio long with it, I was good at recording. I said yeah. capture vocals real good now. Yeah. And then you used to see that and like that. And they like my mix something now, yeah. you understand? 
the beats, I was on the beats, but I wasn't really on the beats. Mm -hmm. I was more mixing and mastering and them kind of thing now, but... And, and you learn to mix and master yeah. Chukaila, as you Chuk say. Yeah, Chuk you yeah. in the studio. Yeah, kind of Chukaila and thing now, boy, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and then Kevin, show me when you see Kevin, dog? Yeah. And I shout out, shout out Kevin, yeah, dog, boy. Big up Kevin, for sure, Big up Kevin, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin, show me real thing, dog, like... But he was working with a Chinese man, you know, them Chinese man, yeah. and them know everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, he worked in Napa, the... Oh, wow. um, I think so. Cats, cats and Watanabe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that he, you know about Yoshi boy. Yoshi Watanabe. Yeah, Yoshi, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know him, I just know I know him as you um as yo. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah, yo, I know him as yo. Mm -hmm. But yeah, well, see them but you see Kevin dog? Kevin show me where plenty dog. Yeah. And um It's like you're saying about the plumpy, like how you're yeah, you well, linked to the plumpy. Plumpy had a manager all the time and the one tell uh we call an engineer and I was recording Plumpy. I just was recording Plumpy and he was releasing the songs that I recall him and I make some master and then after Plumpy we call on the he was gone. I, I had a rhythm there though. Here how this rhythm come up, yeah? <laughs> Rion. I I get a sample from Cymatics, you know Cymatics has some I I never know about that side, but Cymatics has some nice bad yeah. samples though. Yeah. Right. That was the dead dead rhythm. So I won't reach there yet. I won't reach there yet. All right, all right, all right. You understand? Because that them there with them now, mm -hmm. different kind mm -hmm. of vibes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. when everything changed. Mm -hmm. How do you link up? Because you was working with Swanee. Now as yet, eh? Before. No, no, I was working with Plumpy first, sorry. I was working yeah. with Plumpy first. All right. Yeah. So we so we now enter in yeah. the heavy part, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so before we enter that, uh -huh. let me just take a break now, right? All right. Take a break and come back. Yes, sir.